Good morning. Today we will start chapter 3. The name of the chapter is Operation on Whole Numbers. You must have learned the basic operations and the four fundamental operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. In addition what we do? We take numbers and add them, combine them and find the total. So the numbers which are being added in this uh, numbers you can see that two numbers are added and one result we have got that is the result of the addition. So the numbers which are being added are called addends and the result of addition is called sum. Similarly in subtraction the number which is be which subtracts smaller number is called minuend. The number which is being subtracted is called subtrahend and the result of subtraction is called difference. So these are already taught to you in your previous class. Let me explain you some properties of addition. Now I will explain you properties of addition. By changing the order of the addends, the value of sum does not change. I am giving you example, this smaller number, 3 plus 12. What is the result? 15. Okay, what are addends here? 3, the number which are being added are called addends. So 3 and 12 are addends and the sum is 15. Clear? These are the order. First 3 is written and then 12 is written. If we write 12 plus 3, what is the result? What is the sum? 15. So for any number, any numbers, you can take any number 2 lakh, 1500, 600, whatever. If you are changing the order of the addends, the value does not change. Point clear? Next is, if we add 1 to a number, any number, suppose I am taking 365. Okay, example I am giving you. If I am adding 1 to a number, we get the successor of that number. Successor, you know what is the number which we get after adding 1 to any number. That means just next number. So 365 plus 1 is 366. So 366 is called successor of 365. Similarly, we can use the same concept for any number. Next point is, if we add 0 to a number, any number, the sum will be the number itself. For example, I am giving you 7489. If we add 0 to this, what is the result? Number itself. So this way, we learn the properties and we try to use it in future when we will do the addition. Go. Now, properties of subtraction, I will explain you. In addition, we have found that if we change the order of addends, that means the number which are being added, the results are same. But in subtraction, that is not the situation. In subtraction, if we change the order of the numbers which are being subtracted or like that, so in that case, we will not get the same result. That means the difference will be different. For example, if I am writing 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, then 3 minus 4 will not be equal to 1. Is it clear? Is it possible that 3 minus 4 will be 1? No. So, this condition is not true for subtraction. Next, if we subtract 1 from any number or a number, we get the predecessor of that number. The number just before a given number is called predecessor. So if we subtract 1 from any number, if we subtract 1, what do we get? 
four three seven one two, and this is predecessor of forty three thousand seven hundred thirty. Predecessor is what the number which is just before the given number, and that is called predecessor. And successor is the number which is coming just after a given number. Next property is if we subtract zero from any number. If we subtract zero from any number, the result will be number itself. You can see if we have forty five thousand three hundred sixty five, and if we subtract zero, if we subtract zero from forty five thousand three hundred sixty five, what do we get? Number itself forty five thousand three hundred sixty five. Suppose you have four toffees and you have given zero to someone, so you have removed zero from that. How many toffees do you have? Four. Similarly, if we, we subtract zero from any number, we will get the number itself. So these are the properties which you have to understand for subtraction. That we cannot change the order. That if we subtract one from any number, we get the predecessor, and b. subtract zero from any number we get the number itself 